introduce our first presenter, and it's Ryan Wanger, and he's going to talk to you about money-saving advice from a cheapskate. And I saw his slides, and he's got some cool stuff in here. So aside from his role as a software engineer for a Boulder startup at Everlater, Ryan Wanger also writes a local food blog, TheReluctantEater.com. So you might have to take notes. TheReluctantEater.com. And he is our special guest from Boulder. So he schlepped up here. We saw him last month in Boulder. He did um, My Mom's on Facebook, Now What? And it was really great. But he thought he'd bring even something more special to you. So that's beyond his 140 characters. So I'm going to stop and turn it over to Ryan Wanger. Saving advice from a cheapskate. I'm your host Ryan Langer, and that's also my Twitter handle. If you'd like to give advice or continue the conversation afterwards, uh, that'd be cool. Um, so basically, being cheapskate, it's all about time and money. Um, people who have a lot of money, they don't want to invest the time uh, to save money. Uh, and then there's the reverse. People who are cheapskates, uh, they their motto is basically my time is practically worthless. So if you're looking to save some money, that's a good motto to follow. Um, so food, from a five cent tea, you grow eight dollars worth of tomatoes, but it takes weeks worth of care and feeding. Um, manager special is a great phrase to look for, you throw it in the freezer, and then all you have to do is wait for it to thaw. Uh, you can brag to your guests that you just sold them uh, as an almost expired meat. Um, <laughs> Amazon will deliver you a yearly supply of Vietnam bottles for almost five thousand dollars. And uh, I would recommend tap water, probably. Uh, with a more advantageous play if the neighbors can take it. Uh, so, easy way to save 50% on housing is to just get a roommate uh, and you'll bond emotionally with them. You won't have space to buy crap. Uh, you know, there's no closet space otherwise. Um, that part is when their roommate, uh, sorry, roommate's sister tries to get better with you in the middle of the night. Um, <laughs> for clothing, two options. Buy your own clothes and you get crap for the rest of the year from everybody else. Or, like me, don't buy any clothing and people will buy any clothes at the uh, I, I was given this shirt, I was given these pants. Um, it was great. Uh, you get married then, it's your money anyway. That's uh, so, bookmooch.com. If you want books, strangers will send them to you for free. And you send other books to other strangers for free. Uh, you should check out bookmooch.com. Don't buy magazines on the newsstand. Um, there's a trick that I learned this year, and that is cancel all your magazine subscriptions. Uh, the industry freaks out, and they will start sending you free subscriptions. So if you want Max for Complex, that's a great way. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know why. So cancel your cable TV, find friends with a better TV than you have anyway, and watch before you enter their house. Netflix, very cheap, and then Hulu, of course, is free. Uh, bonus is you won't waste time on the internet because you'll be afraid of finding out what happens in your favorite shows. You guys can read this one on your own. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the takeaway for me is I'm three dumpster dives away from a very good chance of scoring. <laughs> uh, now, I gotta take it the other day for not coming to a complete stop at a stop sign, it was 100 bucks, but I've saved almost three hours of my life. Uh, <laughs> 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 $37, now, to figure out how mad I should be about this, you plug into the equation. You know, I'm, I'm really close to the not caring so much about it. If you don't know how much your time is worth, you can figure out how mad you are, plug that into the equation and work backwards. <laughs> so, seriously, uh, the average cost of owning a car for most Americans is the equivalent of an extra 125 k on your mortgage. Um, in Boulder, that would get you like two, close, two blocks closer to Pearl Street. Um, in Detroit, you can buy five of these three family houses. <laughs> so that's a real trick to set. Um, so I did this recently. I canceled my Verizon service. I got a cheap prepaid, prepaid plan. And then I used Skype out, which is 250 a month. Two dollars a month for unlimited calls. Um, saved time. It was a great, great plan. Um, okay, so $356,000 is the average cost of raising a child. Now, uh, what is it worth to you every day of your life to not be nagged by your parents about when your grandkids are going to show up? $37 a day seems like a great deal. Uh, if 
you've got three kids, you just save five thousand dollars by buying out here. They have thick skin, they don't worry So, three babies that are not hard. Grandparents, fences, one time costs, amortizers for life of your children. And when I have kids, I'm going to follow my mom's footsteps and just have other kids to babysit the younger ones. Uh, now, you gotta be careful because there's good for you, which is crafty, like hopping on the train to get a boulder or baby housing for somebody and then eating all their ice cream. Bad for you is too good to be true, like free iPods or the advantage of the engineer. <laughs> But to conclude here, don't, when you're with your friends, you know, chip in and forget about small debts. Overpay at meals because then when there's extra money left over, they'll give it back to you. And I can remember you as the cheapskate, they're going to remember you as that baller who's always leaving with too much for a tip. Um, so think about how much your time is worth. Almost everything we buy in our lives is, uh, is luxury, believe it or not. And uh, you can work less if you're a cheapskate. So uh, thank you very much.